Just a thought on polls. Seems like ever since 2016, no one knows who to trust. For example, this article says a majority of Americans don't trust polls anymore. You know how they got that data? A poll. This is all super confusing. So who do we believe? It might be easier to start with who not to believe. Like that meme your uncle posted about Trump being ahead by a mile? Probably not legit. Or that poll from some organization you've never heard of that has Biden leading in all 50 states? Nope. If only there were some sort of expert to tell us what a trustworthy poll looks like. Oh, we have one? Great. Are they showing a margin of error or mentioning that the sample is randomly selected? Does it have a good sample size? Does it come from a known entity? These are the qualities of a good poll. But the hard thing is remembering that a poll is just a snapshot of a period of time. So one poll from one place isn't really enough. If we could have uh, 10 polls every week in every swing state, then we could probably be pretty sure. He's focusing on swing states because that's where we went wrong in 2016. We looked at national polls, which give us a great idea of the popular vote, but that's not what wins elections. Swing states do. So let's say going into 2020, you want to give polls another chance. Here's an expert's recommendation for how to do it. Look at local polls in swing states week after week leading up to the election. If the results change a lot, it might be too close to call. If they stay constant, there's a chance we can reliably pick a winner. This is really tricky stuff. I mean, we're honestly trying to predict the future here. And if we could do that, what would even be the point of voting? Look, polls give us an interesting look at elections. But we, the people, decide the outcome. And that makes your vote that much more important. Just a thought.